extremely tired <laughs> it's not even nine o'clock in the morning um I, I mean, anyway it doesn't matter. I probably fell asleep at midnight last night I was awake at four literally wide awake um watch Netflix for an hour that's how wide awake also this is the only duplicate <laughs> we had I'm not going to show you the stash Abby actually bought um, if you are curious about that, look at yesterday's video. But, um, I realized today is Abby's early morning class day. It just means that it's also her early morning to be back home. <laughs> so I thought I saw some more. Okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to put the camera down. Um. We just, I don't want to show that she's a mess. She's not a mess. I talked about this yesterday. It's just that she has the freedom to like have her space for the first time. And so um, this is Abby that I'm talking about. I'm cleaning Abby's room in case you're new here. I'm hurrying because I'm literally watching in the parking spot right out front of my house for Abby to pull into from school. So I'm kind of, I need to hurry. She only has two classes at the school and some days she only has one. So I'm not sure what day today is. <laughs> I can officially tell you now that Abby's surgery is tomorrow morning. Um, because for you guys, it's already happened. <laughs> but it is tomorrow morning. So I want to clean her room. I know she probably has plans to do so today. I want her to be able to relax and not have to do this. Like I said, she's not a messy person. She just has the freedom to leave her stuff out. So, um... That's her dresser before. I've already started to take things off the, sh off the desk. I'm just gonna wipe everything down. I'm going to probably just make her bed because um, I don't have an extra set of sheets to put on the bed. Um, but I have a feeling she's gonna wanna wash them, which is fine. I just don't have time to do that before she gets home from school and not make it obvious that I, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, um, I actually might go buy her a new pair of sheets. Just kind of trash these ones. It's from her self-tanner. So I will make her bed. Um, I will make it. She loves this blanket. This is the blanket she got um, from her last surgery. Um, if you are totally new here and don't know what I'm talking about, my, jaw ha my daughter had jaw um, reset surgery six months ago. Eight, no, ten months ago. She had that in December of 2023. Um, it's where they break your jaw and reset it, which meant that she had to shift her, her not only her jawbone, but her cheekbone, her chin bone, and now her nose bone um, is going to be reset into the correct location. Deviated septum is going to be taken care of and the bump on her nose cosmetically taken off um, per her choice. The rhinoplasty is her the rest of the jaw needing to be or the face needing to be in the right place 
So that's what surgery she is having. She had the first one um, in December. Um, and I just, this is the, this is such an easier surgery by far, but it's still surgery. So she still has to recover. She still has to take time off from work and school and life. So I gotta hurry. I gotta get this room put back together. I will show you, like, this is what I mean. Like, she's not a messy person. Look how organized she is. <laughs> Look how organized she is. But I'm not gonna go into too much detail because she is a private person. Um, I'm just gonna hurry and clean and I will show you the before and after and hopefully I can get the gift basket put onto her bed before she pulls up. And luckily I have a bird's eye view of the parking spot she can park in so I can see when she's home. But I gotta hurry. All right, her room is straightened up. Didn't take me too long. Got everything back on her desk. And I'm just going to leave this just kind of right there. I think that's kind of cute. I left a little pile of clothes that she had out not actually sure if they're dirty or not, <laughs> so I left that there, but the room itself is all clean. I am straightening up out here as well. Um, Kaylee probably is not sleeping here. She's probably going to sleep at Jacob's the first night they come home, just because we'll be dealing with Abby here. And so she's decided to just stay over there, which is fine. I'm going to put this downstairs. Okay, the other problem I have is their bathroom. <laughs> it's awful. It is their job to do, but um, it's really bad. Oh my gosh, I can't pick up all these towels. I did it, one-handed. Now to, I can't get them in there, hang on. All right, I did a very surface level, <clears throat> excuse my voice, surface level clean on the bathroom. I only did the countertop and the sink. Even that was like minimal. I'm going to have the kids when they get home, Abby and, not Abby, Ashley and Chelsea, they need to clean the mirror, the floors, I took out the rug, I'm going to wash it, um, and Jason's going to clean the bathtub because it doesn't drain well, so it's really hard to clean. So I'm going to have him help with that tonight. They need to sweep and mop the floor, but I'm not going to do that part. They're going to do it. But because she's still not home, I'm going to double check out the window here. I'm going to grab a vacuum. I'm going to vacuum her room really quick. I'm going to vacuum the playroom. It's not terrible. It just, it'll look nicer when um, Kaylee comes home. If she needs to sleep out here, she pulls her um, twin mattress out here. I don't think she's going to sleep here. <laughs> I think she'll use Jacob's guest room. Um, these two, I'm not, I'm not with them. <laughs> I am not cleaning their bedroom. Look, this is how I look. Um, anyway, I have now, I have loads of laundry, probably two loads of laundry to put in. I'm going to do, at, this is Abby's load, plus I've added all the towels and a whole bunch of trash to take down and like these little um, laundry bins um, to take down. Um, also, um, this might be why we're not getting better. She's quite stubborn. You know what those are. Those are heel cups for a set 11 year old. So I'm gonna hurry and get the vacuum and do that. And then I think I'm gonna go walking because I don't wanna just be sitting here waiting for Abby and wasting time. She'll see it. I don't need a reaction. She's not gonna let me get a reaction on camera. Um, but if she lets me just film her away from her saying thank you, I don't, I mean, oh, I have a candle. I lit a candle right here. So it smelled good in here when she came in. So I'm gonna shut her door so she doesn't, well, I'm gonna come back in. But if she comes home before I get back up here, then she won't suspect anything. She'll just go in and she'll see her room clean. All right, I have vacuumed the entire upstairs now, except for Chelsea and Ashley's room. Their floor is not ready for me to do. Um, she's still not home. I had plenty of time, but I'm gonna go walking um, and uh, we'll see what happens later on today. All right, I kind of forgot I was filming today. 
I've done a lot since I was with you guys last. I did three miles at the park today. I had very little energy. I, I probably slept maybe four hours total, and that's not consistent <laughs> sleep. Um, so I just didn't have a ton of energy, but I wanted to get the walk in. It felt good. Um, Abby isn't home, so at least I should, her car is not parked right out front, and that spot has been open all day. Let me double check. Yeah, she's not here. I mean, I haven't looked in her room just because if she was asleep, and, you know, I didn't want to wake her up, but I have now vacuumed <laughs> the entire downstairs. Um, I also finished straightening up my room. I put away a load of laundry, probably two loads of laundry. Um, what else did I do upstairs? Emptied some more bathroom garbages, changed, cleaned up just a smidge. I'm probably going to take a nice good shower tonight so that I'm just clean and fresh to go tomorrow for surgery day. Do an early morning to get over to the hospital. Um, I'm making a cheese sandwich with the Trader Joe's cheese. It's gonna look good. I'm only doing half of a, actually just one piece of bread. The bread is actually pretty big. Um, and then I threw on two slices of ham, which is another nine grams. So I have one and a half slices of cheese. Should we calculate, calculate this out real quick? for my protein. I have one and a half slices of the Trader Joe's cheese, um, which is, one slice is eight grams. So I have 12 grams of protein from the cheese, plus, what did I just say for the ham? Nine? What is it? Yeah, nine grams of protein from the ham. I did two, two slices of that. Two slices was nine grams. Um, so that's, um, 12, 21 grams plus one slice of the bread is, I'm actually just counting, count, counting the protein for you guys and myself. 21 plus six is 27 grams of protein in half of a cheese sandwich. So not too bad. Um, I, it's going to make me pretty full. I would like to have some cottage cheese with it. Um, maybe I will just, ha I have a lot of veggies, stocked up on veggies. Chelsea loves salad and cucumbers. So when I was at Target the other day, I just happened to see these, they were on sale for a buck each. Um, let's see that. So I don't think, I, wa I want cottage cheese, but I just know I'm going to be too full. Um, so I'm just going to have some of these little snap peas. Um before I eat my sandwich. And I cut off the tips. <laughs> I don't like having the tips on. And if you cut off and then pull, um, you get the little the little string down the side of the bean, which is kind of nice. So, um, I am surprised Abby's still gone, but I wonder if she like went shopping or something after school, because there's no way she's still at school. There's no way. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. All right. Time for me to sit down and eat. Um, Ashley has cheer practice tonight at a different school with everyone, like we used to do at the park. Um, we are practicing for the parade, um, the Salmon Days Parade. Um, some of you, one of you, has been to the Salmon Days Parade. So Marlene, this is your shout out ahead of time. <laughs> Ashley, I have never seen her in the Salmon Days Parade because Jason and I have been in Hawaii the last two Octobers. Um, and Marlene was my nice, good old mom replacement <laughs> at Salmon Days. Um, she said hi. hi to Ashley and um, Kind of was my real little replacement when she didn't really know that she was my replacement. Um, and I think she said she's coming this time. So hopefully I will get to meet her this time. But they are, the girls are practicing 
um, their little routine for the parade um, tonight. Because they have to do cheers that the younger girls know. Call them the mini squads. See this? See that? If you cut the tip and then with the knife, I can't really show you. Let me, let me see if I can get it in action here. If you cut the tip, it'll pull off. I don't like that little stringy, but it'll do it on both sides if you just pull on it. It'll slide right off, which is wonderful. So anyway, they're gonna practice their routine inside. They'll get the cheers. They already know the cheers, but they'll kind of do them in unison inside. They're gonna figure out their formation. Um, they have, I think they want five flag holders to be in front of the line on the parade. Um, so they're gonna des designate which flag holders can actually hold up the flags. I think they're having the minis do it. Um, and then we're gonna go outside on the school's track and walk around and make sure that the routine works. Um, this is all new to me. Not only have I never coached before, but I haven't ever gone to Salmon Days. So um, we're all excited about that. Kaylee is coming home. She's gonna meet us at the parade tomorrow, or the next morning, the morning of the parade. Hang on. She's gonna come with us. Um, she's gonna likely stay with Chelsea at the parade. Jason might be able to sneak away from Abby for an hour, come see Ashley in the parade, and then he'll dash back home before crowds let out from the parade so that he can get home to Abby. So practice for that is tonight, but I, I have a couple hours until then. So I am going to sit down and enjoy my meal.